Tim, that mustache is glorious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, man, you can start us off. It's been some week for you, man. Just uh, what is your – I mean, I know the approach hasn't changed or anything, but how locked in do you feel right now? Do you, is this one of the better weeks you've had? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling locked in, just, you know, just trying to – kind of like I've been saying, just see ball, hit ball, not try to do too much. Um, just put good swings on balls, and, you know, that's what I've been doing. When you step to the plate there with men on, game's tied, you hit that 3-1 shot, are you looking to get the ball out of the ballpark or is it just a matter of trying to hit the ball hard somewhere? No, I, I, I was really just trying to hit the ball hard somewhere. Um, he had thrown me a couple of off-speed pitches and uh, just kind of saw one that was up enough and put a good swing on it. But, you know, wasn't really trying to put the ball out of the yard, just kind of put a good swing on it, and it just happened. So, Nick? You might have had the best view of Hayden's, or Hayden's single there. Just what, what was that like, just watching from the on-deck circle? Oh, awesome. I mean, after what happened there in the ninth, um, just kind of some some tough stuff that didn't go our way. Um, and, uh, you know, just to be able to see that happen from that view was awesome. Uh, you know, having JV slide in and then run and see everybody run after Hayden, it was great. For you, as hot as you are right now, do you want that situation or were you kind of relieved when Hayden gets that hit? I mean, I was ready to go, you know. Uh, and actually, the funny thing is, uh, Jacob Gonzalez, before that inning started, I was getting my stuff on. He's like, why are you getting your stuff on? You, you're not even going to hit. Uh, you know, Hayden's about to get the walk off. I was like, all right, all right. Hey, I'm just going to get my stuff on in case. But no, I mean, I was ready to go, of course. But um, I was happy for Hayden. Cash. Tim, did you guys just breathe a sigh of relief after the eighth? I mean, I know it took a lot of pressure off. What, what was it like going back out for the ninth? Yeah, I mean, it's always, you know, a little bit of relief when you get uh, a little bit of a lead. Um, but, you know, I think we maybe let our guard down a little bit in that last inning, um, and they got a couple of hits and um, strung some stuff together. But, uh, you know, we battled back in that last inning and got some base runners and, you know, were able to win the game. So, you know, you got to win all kinds. Um, so we were just happy to win it. Ben? Kind of gets lost a little bit, a little bit, Tim, with all the home runs and stuff, but Hayden's been doing this all year as far as getting hits and – Big knocks, knocks, and timely knocks. Um, what is, what has the growth been like for him, in your opinion, just watching him in year two? Oh, I mean, he he's you know he's been great since he's been here, but um, it's been awesome to see how well he's been swinging the bat also this year. Um, I know he, he you know he was swinging really well at the end of the year last year, but um, just to see him doing so well, uh, you know, it's awesome. It's really good for us, and I'm really happy for him. Um, you know, it, his development is is awesome. You know, he's already really good behind the plate, and uh, you know now his bats really getting hot and, uh, you know, and we knew that. Um, we knew that when he was coming here and, uh, but it's just, it's good to see. Nick? After the letdown last week, what did it mean to go 5-0 and this week? Um, it was great. Uh, you know, you, you can't win them all. And, you know, we, we kind of had a little bit of a lapse last weekend, but, um, you know, it's great to battle back and, uh, you know, kind of play how we can play. Um, so we're, we're really happy about that. Did you say anything to the team or did the coaches say anything that kind of helped steady you guys after those losses? Um, you know, not a, not a whole lot. Um, just kind of to just be ourselves. And, uh, you know, we know we know how good we are and um, just to stay within ourselves and just play how we can play. Um, you know, we had some some good practices and, you know, uh, some great games there in the midweek and just kind of carried it on into this weekend. Um, so. Any more questions for Tim? All right, Tim. All good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, Tyler Myers up next. What is going on? Ben. Tyler, man, I mean, your recovery from Tommy John was tough and you lost last year. To be contributing right now, how do you feel and, and what do you feel about your start? Oh, it feels great. I'm just happy that I can make an impact on this team, um, you know, missing last year. But uh, it feels great to be one of the guys coming out of the pen today and, and help this team win. Does your arm and your stuff feel like it did before the injury? Uh, I feel better, actually. I think a big, I think a big thing was mentality. You know, coming from 2019 up until now, and you know, you go through a whole year, and your mentality changes a little bit. You know, you go through a lot of a lot of tough times. You know, it's a lot of grit that makes you come back. But you know, stepping back on the field, I cherish the game so much more, and uh, just a happier person just to be back on that field. Nick, 
with that mentality change, just what goes through your head when you are coming out for a weekend series and a close game like this? Uh, you get you get a little uh, you get those nerves back, you know, for sure. But you know, you kind of fight through it, and and that's baseball, and you you get to. Uh, enjoy enjoy the atmosphere and, and enjoy and just focus on each pitch, you know, and that's what you got to do. Did you always expect to be able to be back this soon for this year? Uh, no, just waiting for, you know, my name to be called. You know, and that's whenever my name's called, I'm going to be ready. Any more questions for Tyler? All right, Tyler. All good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Parrish, you want to start us off? Hey, Mike, if you would, just uh, tell us what you saw in, in Hayden's at bat there in the ninth. Um, I, you know, I, to be honest with you, I didn't even recall the pitch, but, uh, you know, just where you want to be, you know, if, uh, if you're going to be in the bottom of the ninth and you got to score, you want the, you know, uh, the guy that's, you know, you know, your best hitter at the plate, your three hole guy, and, you know, be, you know, with the, the way, you know, Elko has been swinging right at him. And, um, you know, just, uh, I think we were pretty comfortable that, you know, he was going to be able to move it somewhere, but, uh. Uh, he's had a terrific year, you know, uh, to this point, and just really proud of him. You know, proud of the, um, you know, the 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 growth he's made as a, as a hitter. Um, you know, we talked about it in you know preseason and last fall, just really being able to, uh, you know, change his approach and be able to hit the ball the other way, to be able to, um, you know, really cut down the strikeouts and uh, and of course, you know, today. Um, I mean, I think going in today, he had like nine walks and w one strikeout. And uh, uh, so just, uh, I think, uh, a tough you know, position to put themselves in uh, with, uh, with, you know, again, Hayden batting, you know, with uh, first and second, one out. Um, Belmont's ninth inning, their rally there. Did you feel like you, your guys were catching too much of the plate or were those just very competitive at bats on their part? I just, you know, I think, you know, we, we blow it in the beginning where, you know, you got a three run lead and you, you get two you know, base runners immediately. And that's, you know, that's not good. You know, it's not a good mix. I thought Broadway was tremendous and, uh, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't use them. Uh, and then with, a th you know, when it was close, figured he would pitch the ninth, but then with a three run lead, uh, you know, maybe we would escape without having to use him. Uh, but, you know, he had to come in there and I thought he did great. He did a, you know, did a good job. I don't know where the last pitch that, you know, Capo Bianco, you know, got the base hit or double. I'm not sure uh, where that pitch was you know located, but uh, I thought he pitched really well. You, you got to understand, um, you know, his, his two outings, uh, he pitched basically three innings of baseball in 24 hours and not that it's too much but the, the pressure the you know the pitches that he had to make uh, remember he pitched the eighth yesterday with a tie score then he pitches the ninth with a one run lead uh, so how many pitches did he have to make you know with the winning run at the plate uh, that's tough to do you know, so to kind of, you know, put it on him, that's, that's certainly not the, the case. I mean, if he can, if he can pitch like that every weekend, we're going to win a lot of games. Nick. It seemed like not just Elko, but Graham and Van Cleve were also getting some stronger swings this weekend. Yeah. Did you see any changes in approach from those guys or were they just kind of getting better pitches and putting them in play? I think it has more to do with just being on time. And I think, you know, we were on time for the fastball. We talked, you know, so much this week, you know, we've played four times about uh, being able to, uh, with, you know, three, two, uh, being able to let, you know, some of those balls go. Uh, today, maybe we weren't as, as efficient in that. We still won some of those battles. Jacob Gonzalez, you know, won that battle, you know, in the, in the last inning and got the first base and, you know, to get, you know, uh, Dunhurst to the plate. Uh, but I think, you know, what you're saying is true. And I don't, really have the answer if we had it we'd bottle it up you know and make sure but I think it has to do with a lot of things you know one uh you know you're 25 plus at bats into the season uh number two so with that 
you know, you've seen a lot more pitches and uh, you're, I think you're a little more comfortable at the plate. Plus uh, I think some of those, you know, nerves or jitters or and that some of the guys may have gotten, um, you know, I think, you know, some of that's gone. And so when you look throughout the lineup, some guys, you know, starting to really swing and of course Elko has a monster week, but uh, I thought Graham, you know, starting to really look like himself at, you know, Dunhurst has, you know, been terrific since the get go. Bench is really heated up. Uh, uh, so, you know, Van Cleve, you know, swung it well, hit a ball yesterday, it seemed like it was going to go against the scoreboard, but the wind held it up and they got a big double today. So, yeah, that's, that's nice to see that the offense is starting to heat up. With the power in general, is this kind of what you expected based off of seeing the fall in the spring, or was this kind of more power up with this weekend? You know, to, to, yeah, I think today was just one of those days where the ball, um, the wind was still blowing in a little bit, uh, but it was blowing straight in from center. So you could get it out down the lines uh, and the ball would carry down the lines. You know, yesterday we hit some some really good balls uh, and, and and they did too. So, I mean, this is not to, um, you know, to make excuses, but, uh, you know, certainly Van Cleve gets a big home run yesterday and maybe a couple others. So, uh, you know, we, we swung at some good pitches and got some some good balls. It's just, you know, sometimes the, the weather isn't conducive. You know, that's one of the difference in our game. I mean, yesterday, wind's blowing in about 15 miles an hour. There's been some days where it's been really cold or really damp. And at our place, when it's chilly or certainly really damp and it's really, uh, you can feel that dampness in the air, the ball just doesn't carry. Uh, but when you get the warmer days and drier days, uh, you know, it's much easier, as you can see, for the ball to get out. Ben? Mike, we've already talked about how cool Tyler's story is, but to see how far he's come to get to a place where now you're using him in high leverage situations. What did that say about just the work he put in and that rehab to get to this place now to where you're using him in high leverage situations? Well, he's just, well, you know, just a tremendous kid. And, you know, we, you know, we've talked so much about his story, you know, I think, you know, earlier in the week when he started that game that, uh, you know, what a shame to, to lose that piece, you know, from, you know, 2019 where he was such an important part, you know, of our bullpen. Um, he has that injury, um, uh, uh, that it's 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 a difficult rehab and for him to come come back but I don't think anybody ever doubted you know that he would come back um, he's you know one of those guys that's just a you know super disciplined uh, high energy very positive giant smile uh, you know he's the one that you know if somebody's coming back from it he's coming back from it and so I don't think anybody ever really doubted this and you know to do it in 12 months you know and to be this effective is pretty impressive it's not unheard heard of, uh, but there's some guys that, you know, it takes longer, but, um, you know, I, I don't think it's a surprise to, to anybody, not just me, but anybody on the staff or anybody on the team that, you know, he's able to do what he's, what, what he's, you know, did this week. Any more questions for coach? All right, coach. Thank you. Thanks guys.